Well, hello again. I'm over here at the uh, veggie garden uh, where I'm building the fence. I just sh show you, thought I'd show you what I was actually attempting to do. And if I turn around, I've got a piece of uh, wire down the bottom that was only put up uh, to hold things, uh, stop deer and kangaroos going through if they got in. But uh, I have to replace this today. Eventually I'm going to put a pole in here to put a gate on. But at the moment it's just an easy drop the fence. But I had to start doing something about this fence because these pumpkins are starting to grow into it and I don't want them growing up. What I've got here is my tomatoes. I have to start working on these. My yellow um, beans are coming through and if you have a look here you'll see that there is some more beans growing. I've got growing up through there and my lima beans. My lima beans will be growing up that fence and if you look over here I've got peas coming up to grow up this fence which is why I have to build this fence today so that I can uh, control and bring the, uh, the lima beans off uh, and the peas off the ground. Anyway things are growing nicely here as well you can see those tomatoes but have a look at those tomatoes they're going exceptionally well and the corn it's absolutely flying out of the ground. My lettuce, whoops. I'm gonna to have to start picking that up otherwise it'll go bolting on me. Oh, look down here. What do you think that is? That's a zucchini. And I'm absolutely uh, astounded at that. Uh, they're finally starting to come through. That one I'll have to pick. Uh, few more things growing here, weeds, and if you look over there, my sunflowers, they're up to three and a half feet high. In fact, on one of the sunflowers is a cucumber growing. Could possibly leave that there. On the other side, you'll see the purple king beans starting to strive for the sky. And the tomatoes over in that corner, I've got to get stakes into them because I've lost control and I'm losing more control here. But if you look down the bottom there, You'll see there are my tomatoes. Oh, isn't that great? Those tomatoes are starting to show up everywhere. Uh, we've got them, little ones and smaller ones, more just in that area there. Anyway, we should be having a good crop. Oh wow, look at all this. This is so exciting. The amount that I've got growing there. Anyway, oh, my beetroot. I should mention my beetroot. Look at them. They're growing out of the ground. Anyway, this is the, uh, the day I've got set for myself. So I best get on with it. I'll come back and I'll talk to you a little later after I've done some work on the fence. I'll see you all later. Bye for now. Well, hello, it's uh, a little further on in the day. I've been uh, putting up my wire fence. I'll just show you where I'm at. I've got a little doorway down there, but basically I've put in the proper wire and then tried to put the pumpkins through. One or two of them snapped a little bit, but they're growing nicely. Now I'd like to show you what I'm doing here, if I can. All right, I'm making my own little uh, pieces of metal to clip everything together. I've got spare wire from the fence, and basically, I'm just making my own little hooks and I cut them off just toss those things down and then I bring out another tool and this tool allows me to put these in place so I put them about a hundred uh, millimeters apart and then I just clip them together, like so. I've got three here, so I'll put them on for you. If I can. And I'll go along this section and I'll close it right down so that it's all locked together so that the birds can't get in. Now this is the main reason I'm doing this. Because the birds got in last year and they devastated my corn and my sunflowers. So, 
just showing you they're not quite in right yet I'll fix them up in a little while but when the corn grew it got to a certain height and they took out the pollen from the top there um, about another two feet before they produced that in those ones over there but the sunflower seeds which are here oh by the way I've locked all this down I've wired this all up here and they're growing nicely up that fence I haven't got a pole in at the moment that I need to put in but I will put that in soon um, but basically the sunflowers when they got to another foot higher or two foot higher when they started to produce their flowers uh, they, they uh, were assaulted by birds so my I grew them for the chooks they never got to the chooks because they got eaten before they set the seeds properly so at the moment what I'm doing is just setting everything up and I've got a little bit of work to do here in the uh, tomatoes I've got to stake them up higher I did have a plan but I don't uh, I haven't had time to get to it and but look at all the flowers on the uh, cucumbers there I'm really impressed with that and if I were to take you down a little bit you would see well in fact I can there they are just going down on a little bit of an angle uh, but there's some cucumbers setting and they'll be coming along soon and if you look there's some beautiful flowers from the uh, purple king beans we've been eating purple kings on the other side of the yard where I planted them a couple of weeks earlier anyway I'm a little bit further on it's all locked down now I've got to go outside and if you see the far fence lines over there I've got to put uh, chicken a bird wire on there and then I want to put the uh, bird wire along the other side of the pumpkins there so that uh, little animals can't come through I will mention this last year I was working in the garden and I saw somebody put their arms underneath and try to grab one of my pumpkins uh, needless to say he didn't get away with that but uh, I'll just put the chicken while there to make sure that people don't uh, do that again and it also stops the uh, kangaroo and deer from coming underneath uh, if they can do that the kangaroo can in some cases not always but anyway I'll be off now I'll see you again uh, I've got to work on this area here soon very soon because I'm uh, running out of time with those pumpkin vines running out way into this uh, area that I haven't prepared yet anyway I'll see you again later if you like subscribe and we will uh, you'll be able to keep up with where I'm at I'll see you later bye